this Saturday, August 27th at 12 noon Eastern Time and continuing for 36 hours is the Madness, Mayhem and Charity HIV fundraising event on Blog TV. Along with myself, there will also be many other YouTubers and Blog TV personalities that many of you will be familiar with. I hope that all of you will, at the very least, join us at some point during the 36 hours. There will be fun, there will be auctions, there will be entertainment, and some really good chat. If you are not familiar with the event, and if you hadn't heard who would be on, let me give you a quick rundown of the host list. It will be myself and Gyro163, D. Landon Cole, Federalist Films, Scouse Cast by XS, All Babies Are Atheists, Felita the Geek, Bionic Dance, I Don't Know You, and Meridian Frost, Tommy from the Bronx, Concordance, Dark Matter 2525, Eden's Cancer, Liam JR24, Divinity, Not In My Name 2050, Menolution, EPR Jones, Coughlin 616, Zone Star, Zombiets Chris, The Peach, Apostasism, Together for Peace, Das American Atheist, Soretta Yuki, Sarah Han 06, Earl the Redneck, Death Fox, Chunks of Earth, and Zinnia Jones. ZJM TV. There'll be many guest hosts, there'll be lots of fun, there'll be some surprises, a little bit of madness along the way, um, a little bit of mayhem along the way, and all for charity. In the last year, we have raised $14,000 for HIV research, and the organizations that we have raised this money for have been the Gay Men's Health Crisis, the International HIV AIDS Vaccine Initiative, and the International HIV AIDS Alliance. This weekend, we hope to raise $14,000, which would bring our complete one-year total to $28,000. Links for the organizations for the Blog TV, as well as the, the schedule of hosts, will be listed in the description bar below. Thanks, guys, and I hope to see you all there. Thank you. Around the world, scientists are searching for a vaccine against HIV-AIDS. It is one of the greatest challenges we face today. 40 million people are living with the disease and every day another 12,000 are infected. When these first infections were detected, we thought this would be a disease of high-risk population like sex workers, drug users or truckers. But unfortunately today the face of AIDS is a housewife. So we are very clear that this virus has spread into the general population. Whilst access to drugs has kept many people alive, living with HIV-AIDS remains a daily struggle. They are difficult to be attending to the hospital. You have to attend the day you are told. And you, if you can go to the hospital two days and you are working, you are not going to continue with the work. You are told you don't want to work. I used to work and feed my kids. I pay the school fees. But now I can't. So you, you see one, my daughter here, the school fees. An HIV-AIDS vaccine is desperately needed to stop more people becoming infected. We are still seeing new HIV infections, which clearly shows us that these preventive measures have not completely stopped the spread. If we can get a vaccine that works, that will stop the spread of HIV. In spite of the great challenges, there is good evidence that a vaccine is possible. But collaboration is essential to find one that's safe and effective. What we need to do is search the world for the best candidates. It's not about one country, it's not about one group or one company. It's about searching the world for the best ideas, then taking them forward and bringing them into clinical trials as fast as possible, but doing it in a systematic way so that you can use the results to prioritize those candidates. Important progress is being made in countries across the world. One would like to believe that the current vaccine trials across the globe pave the way eventually uh, for producing a successful vaccine. I think we are much nearer than a decade or two decades ago. Are you aware that we are looking for an HIV vaccine? And it's not just the scientists that are making this happen. Communities are playing a vital role by supporting and participating in research. The local community is very supportive because they, are, they have lost so many people through HIV and AIDS. Every time you go to the meetings, they are asking, how soon do you think the vaccine will be ready? So actually, they are so eager to get the vaccine.
This is a global effort by communities, governments and scientists alike, striving together to find a vaccine that will save millions of lives. Imagine a world without HIV AIDS. As soon as a child is born, they are given an HIV AIDS vaccine, just the way we do for measles and polio. You have to be motivated to be able to achieve that kind of a vision. The Alliance supports local communities in developing countries to play a full and effective role in the response to HIV AIDS. For now, Seng is healthy, but she urgently needs to get hold of antiretroviral drugs. In many of the poorest countries in the world, these much needed drugs remain prohibitively expensive, and many millions like Seng face an uncertain future, not knowing if and when these drugs will be available. Alliance Ukraine supports harm reduction programs as a pragmatic contribution to stemming the rising epidemic which threatens the development of Ukraine. Ivan has persuaded Vlada and Julie to act as a needle exchange in their area. This is a neighborhood famous for its drugs, and so people are coming here to get drugs. Before he came along, we were giving out the same old syringes, even though we washed them out first. NA is an organization run by people who have experienced drug-related problems. They work as peer educators, holding self-help support groups like this one. Drug addicts are clever people. They are bright. It's important that they see people like them who have overcome their problems. Most of the people in the rural areas are not able to access VCT, reasons being the distance from their areas to town. They would rather spend their money on food than travel. It is very important that we continue the VCT outreach services because people are really hungry for VCT. They want to know their status. You know, they really want to know how they can protect themselves or prevent themselves from getting infected. So if people are able to walk for 10 kilometers just to access the services, there is need that we reach many more. Grandi works with Mapode in Lusaka. It's preferable for children to stay with their extended families, but this isn't always possible. This center provides food, education and accommodation for some of the most vulnerable children who end up with nowhere to go. The big boys on the street try to take our money, and if we didn't give it to them, they beat us, and so we often had to run away from them. I am sure of food here. I am sure of sleeping comfortably. I am sure of playing football. And here I am sure of seeing tomorrow. It has been shown that strong community action has played a fundamental part in every country that has managed to contain the epidemic. 